in the last video on the live project implementation we understood the data we understood the tables involved to create this project in this video we are going to create a connection to the database create a cognos data source and use framework manager to create our packages for reporting purposes so going back in here we discussed last time the sales db new dot mdb as i mentioned earlier please feel free to send an email to bharti dot dw consultancy at gmail dot com for getting this microsoft access database file then this is your database in order to create a data source connection in cognos first we have to create a dsn in your system or on a server go to control panel and open the administrative tools go to data sources and go to system dsn please remember that cognos could only use the system dsn created the cognos server click on add and select the appropriate driver for oracle you would see an oracle driver here for db2 you can see db2 for sql you have sql driver so depending on the database your driver would be different for this video series we'll be using microsoft access driver dot mdb then give a data source name we'll use bdcs sales database bharti w consultancy sales database and we will not give space navigate to the database so i clicked on select it gave me this directories directories and you can see the path to the database here click on okay and click on okay once you have created the system dsn you can verify by double clicking again and go to system dsn you can see that make sure that your c db sales db new the path and the database file is existent so once the data source the system dsn is created the system dsn is created we will go to the cognos portal go to launch on the far right go to ibm cognos administration please remember that this task can only be done by an admin once in the administration page go to configuration and make sure you are in data source connections page click on new data source and you can give any name here you can say BDCS sales new database this is our name go to next in this section fill in the type of database you can see cognos supports a range of databases at this point in time 
we are gonna use ODBC and click on next on this page we will make sure that we enter the database the data source name the same as the DSN name we created in our previous uh, section we will enter BDCS sales DB you can mention this user ID password in the sign on section but at this point in time the database does not have a sign on and then we will use test connection so on this page you are, you are just putting in the name of the DSN if your database has user ID password you can enter here else put no authentication this is the sign on or the credentials used to connect to the database make sure you test the connection so the connection is successful and close close again and click on finish once you click on the finish button the data source you can see appears on the page where it says BDCS sales new database in our next video we are gonna see how we can use the framework manager to get the metadata from this database and create our first model on this keep watching our series of live project implementation